I've found entrepreneurs are eager to operate very lean, and as a result, they spend their time focused on where they can save money, and they start in back office. Uh, exclusively, they focus on legal by trying to use an online legal service to incorporate their company, set up their docs, use previous docs they had from previous companies as templates, and then uh, adulterate them to work for the startup. And I think ultimately they're being penny wise, pound foolish, and I would strongly advise entrepreneurs not to do that. Um, having a great startup law firm that has the pattern recognition and experience, having worked across a number of issues that arise during a complex and tumultuous startup journey, essentially reduces statistical risk of that startup being um, at risk of failure by choosing a law firm and working with them from the get-go to get all the setup structure right. And that stems from 83B elections so that you have proper capital gains treatment for appreciation of the stock value for the founders uh, and potentially even advisors, depending on what kind of stock they're issued, to avoiding the risk of having consulting agreements with part-time employees or companies uh, that you're working with uh, on a consulting basis or vendor agreements that haven't uh, met the muster of the, um, the risk that corporate uh, and commercial relationships end up uh, introducing into the company because uh, they haven't uh, had mutual indemnification or warranties or termination rights that essentially give that startup the flexibility to operate the way they need to. And so um, investing and having a really great legal team, especially since most of them defer fees anyway, if the company's unsuccessful, they often waive fees, um, sets the company up for success out of the gate and ensures that the startup is pennywise, is not pennywise pound foolish.